Here we go. One time, one time. What's going on, y'all? Sasante here, back again with a hot new episode of A Black History Moment, where we celebrate black excellence from the past, the present day, and what's coming into the future. We acknowledge it, we celebrate it, but most of all, we... Promote it. That's right, y'all. We promote it. So y'all get ready. Stay <laughs> tuned in because this episode is a special one, especially if you love delicious, mouth-watering, just gooey, mm, umptious <laughs> cupcakes. Y'all give it up for the one and only owner of Moja's Cupcakes. <laughs> so how you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, wonderful, wonderful. Good, good. So we're going to jump right into it. What okay. kind of flavors that you got? Well, one of the most unique things about Moja Cupcakes is that my flavors actually change every month. Okay. So like, they change every month, but for April, we're rocking with four flavors. We okay. got strawberry vanilla bean, cookies and cream, peach cobbler, Ooh. and also a red velvet cookie butter cupcake. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so how, how do you actually come up with these type of flavors? Um, I'm inspired by lots of different things. I love art, beauty, um, but most importantly, um, black culture. Um, okay. I'm inspired by that. One of my most popular cupcakes is peach cobbler. Oh, okay. Peach cobbler is one of my favorite desserts, but it's also one of the desserts that brings my family together. So a lot of my flavors are inspired by my own personal family, the traditions, black traditions of, of desserts we normally eat yeah and then we elevate it a little bit and then we pull in and inspire from just art and beauty and culture all together oh okay <laughs> wonderful wonderful and i also saw you know peach cobbler is amazing is that one of your favorite foods yeah yeah okay so it's like a, a theme where you kind of inspire off of you know stuff that you actually like that i already like yeah, yeah. so like uh snickers is my favorite candy bar but yeah. i've made a snickers cupcake before oh okay yeah 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 and also <laughs> i saw a uh cinnamon toast crunch oh too. absolutely i was like That's what? one of my favorite cereals besides apple jacks yeah <laughs> yeah cinnamon okay. toast crunch perfect mm -hmm. so so you have a whole repertoire like do you just go to the store and you're like you know i'm thinking about, i might put this i might add this i might add this in here or do you just whatever is in your cabinet um, well you there's just... a plan before we go to the store so yeah. actually uh, coming up with the menu does take effort because mm -hmm. i'm pulling from all different things yeah. and then i i write down and stick to um, a structure and i try to stick to some form of chocolate some yeah. form of vanilla some form of spice of some sort, like cinnamon, um, and like a fruit um, type of cupcake. And then I pull from those four main things and then see what I can create out of that. Oh, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. So let me ask you this. Now, as far as business is concerned, mm -hmm. are you a first generation business owner? Yes. Oh, okay, awesome. So you're yes. starting, to, starting to trend, you know, getting that popping right now. Yes. So I want you to speak on, <laughs> you know, just, how how has the journey been you know being the first generation you know really getting it going uh it mm, it's been challenging yeah. <laughs> not gonna lie but um it's actually been very rewarding um but because i am first generation and no one else has yeah. kind of went down this lane before i feel it's only fitting for me um yeah. because a lot of things in my life have always been in my own lane doing my own thing so i'm just moving um, and God's will, having trust in him, having faith that my ideas and my creativity can help inspire others. So it's, it's been challenging for sure, um, but I'm staying faithful that it will okay. work out. Okay, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. And speaking about inspiring, I mean, you actually are an inspiration to me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just watching your channel and how you're growing and everything. And I know you're an inspiration to uh, the young black community. A mm -hmm. young, there's a lot of young black boys and girls who are going to be looking up to you and saying, wow, you know, I can do this. I can find a passion and mm -hmm. I can develop this into a business and yeah. really make this happen. Right, right. So absolutely. I, I just want you to speak on what does it mean to be an inspiration to the young black youth? Wow, that's a big question. Ooh, okay. Coming with it, coming with it. <laughs> oh, wow. So let me think. So one of my um, things I'm an advocate for is to making sure that you find your gift mm -hmm. in yourself. Um, God has given every single person a gift and every single person is good at something. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it is. And that one thing, that something that you are really good at, 
with less effort, that's your gift. And oh, okay. so what I want to emphasize in the youth and in young boys and girls, especially young black boys and girls, is that everyone has something they can give to the world. Doesn't matter what Say that it again. Is. Say that again. <laughs> Everyone has something within themselves they can give to the world. Boom. Doesn't matter. You oh. got it. So you just build on that gift and you just move forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So <laughs> when it comes to support, okay, you have a lot of people that support you. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody that you want to shout out? My mom. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um. But I, I want to shout out all my people who don't live here in Georgia. I have a lot of supporters um, outside of Georgia. So okay. that was one of the main reasons of getting in the kitchen to allow me to start shipping. Because okay. I had a lot of people inquiring, how can they get my cupcakes yeah. that don't live here? Oh, okay. And so that actually was the drive of me figuring out how to get my cupcakes to the people. Yeah but that don't live here in Georgia. And it's actually the majority of them live all over the United States. So, oh, okay. So that's the main reason why so, I'm in the kitchen. So we shipping to yes. all 50. Yes, all 50. I got you. Maybe even Nationwide. overseas. Maybe even overseas. <laughs> okay, all over the world. Worldwide. Cupcakes all over the world. Hey, <laughs> cupcakes all over the world. Hey, no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So let me also ask you, do you plan to, um, have like a bakery because what's your uh, what's your what's your main goal right now? Like you want to do a bakery? My main goal right now is Mojo Cupcakes will be identified as an online bakery. Okay. Right now, um, that's what we're moving into. We're moving from hustle mode to yeah. business mode, um, and then we'll move into actual multi million dollar mode. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> now, now some, yeah. some people want to know about you know the the hustle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some of my videos they weren't all stationary cameras like this. Right, I was right. over there with a cell phone, like, hey, hey, we yeah. got this interview, yada, 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 you know, it's all yeah. kind of crazy, yeah. and birds flying by, people right, walking right. by. So I want you to speak on, you know, the, the hustle, you know what I mean? So the hustle, yeah. so Moja Cupcakes can um, identify as a hustle, we, we call it p parking lot pimping. <laughs> and one of the oldest hustles in the world is by selling things out of your trunk. Yeah. That's one of the oldest way of doing things mm -hmm. and it's a very successful way of doing things. Um, but it's a hustle. So it's quick and easy. And by doing that though, when you're building a business, it's good for the beginning to getting your name out yeah. there, to getting your product out there. And, and, and for me, it was by giving it a name. Yeah. Selling stuff out of your trunk, that's something we you see all the time. But yeah. giving it a name, giving it identity, calling it parking lot pimping really gave it life. Yeah. And it gave it made it an actual moment to actually just really selling cupcakes out of my car. You know? So yeah. that was my my hustle moment. And it lasted for um this a whole summer last year up until uh, leaning towards the holidays. So yeah. um, we're, we're stepping out of the hustle mode and we're moving into um, business size and getting gotcha, gotcha. getting really deep in the actual business of things and becoming real present online and becoming an online bakery. Yeah, I seen you had yeah. a banner and everything kind of. Oh yeah, you know, we just because we sell in a car, we don't have to yeah. make it look nice. Yeah, professional yeah. parking lot pimping. We got you know? a sign, we got a, a, a table runner. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm glad for your growth. And this name, Moja, it's a very interesting name. Where, mm. where does it, how did you form that name? Because it just flows Moja. <laughs> So Moja is actually the origin is a combination of two names of my two cats. Okay. Um, I have an animal science background, veterinary medicine. I love animals. Um, so I have two cats. One name is Mo. The other name is Doja Cat or Doja. Yeah. So Moja it was born. However, I did look into Moja and it does mean one in Swahili. Oh, okay. So it is a Swahili word that is one. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you think of Moja cupcakes, it's just one cake or one cupcake. So that's oh, awesome. Moja cupcakes. Now, at, at, mm -hmm. I know you want to do birthday parties. You're probably going to do everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, will you? Are you interested in doing like a big cake as well? Would you do that? Mm, not no? right now. Cupcakes <laughs> is your thing. Stick, yeah. stick on the cupcakes. I'm not a big cake person, and I think a lot of things, a lot of times, businesses 
get um, overwhelmed with thinking they can do it all. Yeah. When it's important to kind of perfect that one thing, build that one thing up, be good at that one thing. So you have confidence in yourself and yeah. your product versus trying to stretch yourself and others. So I know cakes are not for me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. So... Do, what, do what works. Do what makes sense. <laughs> Cupcakes it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you sell them. <laughs> how, how do they actually look? You just sell straight cupcakes or you have jars as well? Well, so the way I thought of how can I get my cupcakes to the people yeah. is by putting them in a jar. Okay. And a lot of times um, people call them cake jars. Mm -hmm. And I call them cupcake jars. They okay. are essentially two cupcakes in one, mm -hmm. and it's in a layered form. So it's oh. the cupcake reconstructed into a layered format to where you have your cake, your fillings, and your frosting all in one. Awesome. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty um, a filling yeah. uh, jar because it's two cupcakes in one, but it also allows you to eat a little bit at one time and then put away later okay. and then eat it later so you can either do the jars or you can do the straight cupcakes as well yes okay awesome and the jar might even look like this huh look at Ooh, this look at that yeah so your hands prettier than mine go ahead you, you do it <laughs> so mocha cupcake jars these how they come they will come um sealed they're full to the max yeah so this is how they look right here so this would be like a strawberry was it strawberry cheesecake? Yes, strawberries and cream. Okay. And this is the peach cobbler. Okay, so once again, we're going to go through a couple of the flavors here mm -hmm. to make sure y'all get these delicious cupcakes. So I know you have a special uh, April... Uh, April menu. So mm -hmm. that's... What's some flavor? Peach cobbler. So peach cobbler, strawberries and cream, uh, cookies and cream, and then also a red velvet and cookie butter cupcake. All right, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all get these cupcakes, Moja Cupcakes. Dot com. Yes. Find her on Instagram. Yes. Moja Cupcakes. Moja Cupcakes dot com. Dot com. <laughs> on Instagram. On Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest. Google. Yes. Google her. <laughs> yeah. And you can also get, um, you're selling a, a, a clothes and, and items, right? Like. So there's a link in my bio on Instagram. Yeah. Um, I call it Moja Merch. And it's a uh, platform where you can get things like this. Boom. And get um, products, um, shirts, sweatshirts, cups, yeah. magnets, bags Ink with pants. Moja cupcakes on it. So support your girl. Boom. Make sure y'all check her out. <laughs> and I want to thank you for coming out to another episode of A Black History Moment. Thank you for with having your host, me. With your host, Asante. And I want to thank the people for watching another episode of A Black History Moment with Asante. We out. Peace. Black history, black, black history, yep. black history, black, black history moment with Asante. Black history, black, black history, yep. black history, black, black history moment with Asante.